Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. This week I am 34 weeks pregnant and the baby is the size of a... Can you get it? Okay, pick it up. Size of a cantaloupe. I think this cantaloupe is a little small, smaller than it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I think it's supposed to be like 18 inches. Yeah, this like an apple and a lemon. An apple and a lemon. Um, but this was the, like the biggest size that they had in this is so the really rest big. restaurant, in the um, grocery store. So, her central nervous system and her lungs yeah. are continuing to mature. Layers of fat are forming and it will regulate her body temperature once yeah. she is born. Born. Okay, you going? Mm -hmm. Okay, be careful of the melon. Don't break it. The cantaloupe. Okay, a update on my gestational diabetes. My doctor said that I am doing well. Since my numbers do seem to go high sometimes, my uh, doctor recommended that I do take some medication. I can do either insulin or I can do an oral medication. Insulin, which is a shot you give yourself, doesn't pass to the baby, but the oral medication will tr um, transfer to the baby. But supposedly, since the um, it's the end of the pregnancy, my doctor said that it won't hurt the baby. What are you doing, baby? You get this four days enough raw and wake. Are you gonna put a pad underneath the chair so if the cantaloupe falls off the chair, it's not gonna break? Okay. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Well, aren't you a little smart cookie? Yeah. I shouldn't say cookie. Now he's gonna want a cookie. She said that since I am pregnant, pregnant women usually do kind of tend to go more towards the oral medication just because it's easier and I don't have to, wouldn't have to give myself shots. She did seem to kind of recommend, it seems like she's more recommending the oral, um, even though it, some of it does go towards the baby. So, but um, yeah, that's what I decided to do is go the oral route. Um, I can't remember what the medication is called. I haven't received notification that it is at my pharmacy yet. So I think it starts with an M or something like that. But I trust my doctor and she said that it's not going to hurt the baby. So, And since I have gestational diabetes, uh, I will probably be induced. I was induced one day early with James. So this is nothing new for me and I actually kind of prefer being in induced because when I was induced, I did not, he wants a cookie. Um, one cookie, James, that's it. I did, I went in early that morning, I think at like five o'clock in the morning. You're welcome, baby. Like five o'clock in the morning and um, they started all my Pitocin and everything. And right before my water broke, or actually right before, they, right before they broke my water, they gave me an epidural, then they broke my water, and I felt hardly any pain at all. Maybe this is some very mild cramps, and so, and that was actually something I was kind of worried about, because I, I had really bad cramps, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to feel anything, I don't want, I didn't want to feel pain. <laughs> so... I'm glad I went that route with James and I was actually looking forward to or hoping that this would ha or not that I had to be induced this time but that I kind of was wanting to be induced because I had such an easy pre uh, labor and delivery with James and I hope and pray that that's the same thing for this baby too. Usually when you have gestational diabetes you are induced at least two weeks early because um, one of uh, the baby size, the baby can get big, bigger, faster. And um, you know, I had an ultrasound today. I'll have one for every single week until she's here. Um, 
and she, the doctor said that the, her weight looks good, so that's not a worry for me right now. But also, it is known that with gestational diabetes that the placenta ages faster. So uh, that is one thing that she would worry about. She, so I won't have any complications or have to have a C-section or anything like that. So she is planning on inducing me about two weeks early and that'll be about Jan well we'll go in on January the 15th at night and um, she'll be born on the 16th. I actually am um, surprised because with James we went in this really really early. We went in I think I got there at six and everything was I was all ready and had Pitocin and everything but like seven. So I'm not sure what the plan is this time. I don't know what time I'll be going in. But um, she said I'll be going in that night before, and um, so I'm not sure how all that works, but um, I trust her and whatever she wants to do, it's, it's fine. How I am feeling. I believe that my energy level is better now. I think now it's just the regular third trimester being tired, and it's also because I'm just so much bigger now and so I get tired a lot faster. I'm also um, feeling like a lot more pressure down there. I think it's just because baby girl is just laying so low um, that it's just putting pressure on me <laughs> down there. And especially bad when I have to go to the restroom or when I wake up or in the morning or is this when I've been sitting down for a long time and then I have to and I stand up it's just a lot more pressure and uncomfortable and I also get sciatic pain real easy still um, and I think that's just gonna be something that stays with me until I give birth and um, I kind of remember it with James after I gave birth um, but it wasn't for very long best moment of the week um, this past weekend we took James to um, the one of the big malls here in Dallas is called North Park. It's called Trains at North Park and it's all these little miniature trains. So it's a little Christmas um, fun activity that they do. And I actually will be vlogging, or I did vlog that and that should be up this weekend. So keep an eye out for that. Um, it was really cute. It's gonna be this little short video. And another high of this week was that um, I got to see her at the ultrasound this week, or again. So uh, it's always nice being able to see her. I didn't really get to see her face because she was just pretty much just looking at her head and um, just making sure her, her size is still good and making sure that, you know, my fluid and everything's good in there. And she said everything looks good, so that's, that's a good thing. The low of this week was when we went to North Park, um, the mall, for the trains exhibit. We went to the food court and um, I had a really hard time trying to find something for myself to eat because mostly everything is you no know, unhealthy in a food court. And um, there was like Sonic and sandwiches, which I'm not really supposed to eat. And just not the healthiest things and I was just kind of put me in a really bad mood because it took me a long time to actually figure out what I could eat and there was a witch witch sandwich place which I'm not supposed to eat but I was looking at the menu there and I saw where they did like lettuce wraps instead of um, the bread because I'm not supposed to have so many carbs and the bread pushed up my carbs remember if you remember from the last video I said I can only have 30 to 45 carbs each meal and this was like I was looking at the French was it the French dip I think and it was a little it was too high and so I was like, well, fine, I'll just do the lettuce. But then the lettuce wasn't anywhere near close enough. And I was like, well, is it better to be lower or is it better to be high? <laughs> so I decided, well, I'll be healthy and I'll just do the lettuce. But the lettuce wrap, I ended up with like 
Well, they would got a salad at another restaurant, but the salad didn't look that good to me. So probably should have gone that route, but still this didn't look that great. So, but I think I got more lettuce on the lettuce wrap than he had in his salad. And he had a pretty big salad. It was just like a big pile of lettuce and like there was hardly any, any meat. And it just made me very frustrated because I... There's other places I would have liked to had, or even other sandwiches at Witch Witch that I could have liked to have, but I was very disappointed in that salad wrap. I didn't get it full at all, and yeah, no, it's just, it's just not fun. I also noticed while we were at the mall that um, I, well, like all pregnant women, you can't walk as fast as you used to, and um, People I felt like were like right on my heels when I was walking and I was like, I had to pull over and I said, sorry, David, pull over, but you know, step to the side. I said, sorry, David, I have to get out of the way because I feel like these people are going to run me over. I don't know if people heard me or not. They were talking loud, but I said it pretty much right in their face. <laughs> but, um, but also I had to tell David a couple of times, I was like, hey, slow down. I can't keep up with you. So that's kind of a not so fun, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but still it's something that I noticed this week. Another low this week is that I, when finding out today that I would have to take medication for my gestational diabetes and um, it's just not, it's just another thing I'll have to do that's another hassle, another thing I, this is comes with just gestational diabetes, I guess. Well, not for everybody, but I guess for me. And uh, it's just frustrating. And it's just not, it's just not something that I wanted to do. I wanted my body to be able to um, work it out, out itself, but apparently it didn't want to. And um, I was talking to my doctor and she was like, well, if you ever get pregnant again, this, you know, we just need to get you where it won't be as bad as next time. And I don't know if I'm going to get pregnant again. I mean, it's always, you know, I don't think we're planning on <laughs> getting pregnant again. But it, if it happens, I guess it happens. But um, I don't know. But she was also saying that, I, you know, I have a 50% chance of getting diabetes later in life because of all this. So it's just a bunch of frustration that I just wish I didn't have to deal with. But, um, yeah, that was kind of another low of the week. But I had been kind of dreading going to the doctor just because my numbers have been off and I've been working so hard to keep everything. Um, sorry, my dog must, here's another dog, or sees another dog outside. And so that's why you hear growling. But um, I knew my numbers have been off and I just didn't want to hear from my doctor that I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing when I've really actually been working really hard at it. But she, um, the good thing was that she said I was doing well and um, I just need to add more protein to my diet. Mm -hmm. My belly button is still in and my wedding ring is still on. What I miss? I miss eating out and not having to worry about what I'm going to eat or where I'm going to eat. And that's a big thing that I really missed or miss, but uh, hopefully soon... I get, I'll, I'll be able to go to a restaurant and eat what I want and, you know, not just go crazy because I need to take care of myself, but not having to look up the carbs and the calories and just in, be able to enjoy going out. It's, it's, it's like I've said several times that it's just gotten hard because it's the holidays and everything and you just want to enjoy yourself with your family and your friends and I just really feel like I'm not able to do that right now. It's kind of putting a little damper on the Christmas season. A good thing is though that I, I don't know why I didn't think about this before but before I was telling you that I really missed having coffee in the morning. One just give me energy and two I just enjoy the taste maybe the creamer. But I do enjoy having a cup of coffee in the morning. But David and I were actually in the grocery store the other day. And he was like, why don't you just get a sugar-free coffee creamer? And I was like, oh my gosh, why did I not even think about that? Um, well, I haven't had coffee much because usually it upsets my stomach. 
when I was pregnant, while I'm pregnant, it happened with day, uh, James, when I was pregnant with James, and I think I tried it really early this pregnancy, and I was still feeling kind of nauseated, and the only thing, it's, it's weird, I could only drink like cold coffee, like iced coffee, but that has so much, the way I like it, has so much cream and sugar in it when I go out and get iced coffee because I don't really make iced coffee at my stuff at home but um yeah mm -hmm. but um while we were in a grocery store David was like why don't you just try it and I was like you know that's a good idea so I got some sugar free creamer and I've been able for the last couple of days have my coffee in the morning that, that was it's actually been a really nice change for me and I have it's helped me a little bit with my energy level, I believe. <laughs> what I look forward to. Um, well, now that it's Christmas, I'm look or Christmas is like a couple weeks for Christmas, week and a half. I am looking forward to Christmas, and but I'm always kind of sad and depressed afterwards, especially this year since I, I I've been so tired. I haven't really been able to do a lot of decorating or go out and do like a lot of um, Christmas fun festivities and that makes me sad because I really do want to take James to do all that I just haven't been feeling well I've been so tired and so even though Christmas is pretty much here I really haven't felt the Christmas and that makes me kind of sad um, but I still love it I still I also want to go look at Christmas lights and um, we're gonna be taking um, James to see Santa so um, that will be fun but I'm looking forward to Christmas but then most of all I'm just looking forward to our baby girl getting here um, for multiple reasons I want to just have her in my arms and be able to love on her and kiss on her but and two also I just praying that this will, that her birth will end this gestational diabetes or just the, this diabetes in general and I won't have to worry about it I just have to get healthy so I won't gain it diabetes later on in life but I'm just I'm just over it <laughs> my dad asked me the other day is like how are you feeling or actually a couple of people asked me how are you feeling I'm like I'm just over this pregnancy I love being pregnant with James and it but this pregnancy has just been hard Um, I'm trying to enjoy the last few weeks but um, I'm just ready for her to be here. So, but the good news is that she is moving around a lot. Even my doctor today said, "Oh, she's moving. She's a, she moves a lot." And I said, "Oh yeah, she does all the time." Even um, or James. I thought James was a mover because he was always moving. But I think she moves a lot more than that. But anyway, I'll end this video. I hope that you gain some information if you need it or if you're looking for it from it um and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that bell so you'll never miss another video all right i'll see y'all next time thanks bye